Are you running a company with 50 staff and you're spending 50 quid a month on your internet line? Your internet line is probably the most important thing in your business. I call it the plumbing. Your plumbing at home stops working. You've got the kids and your partner on your case. Imagine that if you've got 50 or 100 staff at the office on your case. You're probably aware of ADSL, FTTC, fiber to the cabinet. But the problem with these are that they're not guaranteed delivery systems of internet. And you're probably gonna be paying less than maybe 80 pounds a month for them. So if your line does go down, you know, Oftel will make these providers take up to two days just to respond to you. If it was my business, I would do the following. I would either go to FTTP, that's fiber to the premises, which a lot of new businesses are getting now. BT is rolling it out around the country. Or the better one will be a lease line. Why is a lease line great? Because a lease line is a dedicated fiber line that goes from the local exchange all the way into your office. And nobody shares that line apart from you. And you can start with a 20 meg, a 50 meg, a 100 meg line. And that's much better than even if you have two really good FTTC lines. If we rewind maybe a year or two ago, you're probably gonna be paying, I don't know, a thousand pound a month. Nowadays, I've seen a 100 meg line for three or 400 pounds a month. And it's a guaranteed service with a four hour fixed time. Another way to also, if you live in one of the built up areas, such as uh, London or um, Manchester or Liverpool, one of those big cities. Then the other option you can have, of course, is a wireless link. Now, the great thing with wireless, depending who you go with, you can have that installed within seven days. Whereas with a lease line, it takes at least up to 60 working days to install. Price-wise, probably similar price, but then of course, you also got to consider a fallback. Although lease lines are guaranteed to run for 99.99% uptime, guarantees if you have a second line at least if the line does ever go down for whatever reason you have a fallback line so maybe until now you thought this is not very important but please go and have a look at what line you currently have look at your downtime guarantees and take action so if you're not sure which line to pick just drop me a line and i'll tell you which one to go for